Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we have a pretty interesting video. Uh, we're going to be going over some of my most feared predictions. Um, I kind of already did this video uh, maybe a couple videos back. Uh, it's the Ray Lewis thumbnail. I had two of them back to back. I think it's the first one, the one without coins. Um... I went over some predictions, so this is more of going to be like an in investing um, in certain cards. Um, do this at your own risk, though, because, listen, I, I'm just going to say this right now. Um, listen, a lot of people think the market's going to crash when most fear comes out, um, but let's go ahead and go to auction block. Uh, the reason people think that is because... This year in Madden 21, every promo that has come out, it's been really solid. Um, the, you know, the, the the Mutt Superstars, that promo was really good. Gave us 489 overall, or uh, 289 overalls. This was really early in the year, so 289 overalls. And like 4, or I think it was, was it 4 or 8, 85, 86 overalls? I think it was 8 total. I think it was 8, because um, it came out in two batches. It was two weeks. Uh, but... With that being said, that promo was really good, okay? That promo was really good. Um, and then, we had the Ultimate Kickoff promo. Um, that promo was good as well. We had, uh, let's actually go to those promos. I want to look at these. Uh, just to, you know, show how, you know, the, the, these promos were good. Um, whether that be, you know, the main promos, whether that be, um, you know, Wild Card Wednesday, where we get, you know, Rising Stars, Veterans, Heavyweights, um, Flashbacks. Uh, but let's go to the arch arch archive here. Um, ultimate kickoff. Uh, just to show y'all what we got in this, um, we got four 88 overall players. Okay, dang, this like uh, four 88 overall players early in the year. This is really good. Um, and then we had a 90 overall master. Um, and then you get to pick if you completed the set, you get to pick two of the NAT versions, and that's that's important too. Rem remember the how these sets worked because they're most likely going to carry over in the most feared. So, 90 overall Byron Jones here. You get him and his power up. So, you get the power up too. So that's important with these master sets with most feared. I'm not going to say it's like exactly the same, but most likely with the promo that we get in most feared the master set um obviously if it's the master set with uh you know a, a legend like you see in the thumbnail with troy palomalu he is it's, it's you're going to get the power up if you complete the set um but the power up's going to be going for a lot of coins uh but if we get a current player that has a power up already in the game and it says and his power up item that's important because that power up won't be going as much as it would if the set did not give its power up. If y'all understand what I'm saying there, uh, but you do get two nats back out of out of the 88 overall you put in, so that's important too because the you know you could put a couple of cards into the most feared promo and uh, you know the master set and you're probably going to get cards back, so that's important too. Uh, keep that in mind. So. With, I believe this came before, so I should have went over Ultimate Kickoff after this. But uh, with this promo, we got two 89 overall players. We had 89 Lamar, 89 Tyron Matthew. Um, and, oh, 89 Zeke, 89 uh, Miles, uh, Miles Garrett there. So we got four 89 overall. This was really, like, these pro guys, these promos are really good. Especially with this being close to the beginning of the year. These promos are really, really good. Uh... But we got a Tyler Lockett, Tredavious White, Mike McGlinchey, uh, Preston Smith. So we did get eight, 85, and 86. So this was a two-week promo. So we got two 89 overalls the first week, and then we got two 89s the second week. And the same thing here. We got four of the 85, 86s the first week, and then we, in the second week, we got four eight, two 85s and two 86s the next. So with that being said, there are some exchange sets too, but none of them were profitable. Uh, no coin-making methods were – obviously, they're – you know, slight, but it wasn't worth it doing these. Um, so, I mean, maybe we see a coin making method with most feared. Um, but that, that, the, these two sets aren't the aren't the point of the video. I was just showing you guys that just to, to go over how good the promos have been and, and and consistency. When those two promos came out, the market did drop. 
so a lot of people are expecting the market to drop um, when, when those promos come out now it dropped a whole lot more let me just talk here it, it dropped a whole lot more with the um, the first promo MVP uh, superstars you know that promo uh, just because we didn't get an alternate currency now with ultimate kickoff we saw alternate currency with footballs so and you didn't see as much of a drop and the reason why that is is, is because of the alternate currency um, if you have a promo involving coins that's when the market is going to drop um, and and when you have a promo that involves an alternate currency like we saw with the ultimate kickoff with footballs it is not going to drop it's still gonna drop but it's not going to drop as much as it would if there was no alternate currency just because the certain players that you get out of that promo are gonna quick sell for that currency okay so with that being said most likely most likely in my opinion the market I think it's gonna drop but not enough for you to invest in if you guys are really, really confident in, in, in certain cards you want to invest in, go, go for it. Because I'm probably going to invest a lot, but I'm not going to go all in, if y'all feel me. Um, because I feel like we're going to get an alternate currency. Because uh, last year we got BATS, and BATS was a, were, uh, or I should say, yeah, BATS were a alternate currency last year. And the market did drop a whole lot last year, but they... EA really, or I should say Madden, EA, the developers weren't, you know, that familiar with knowing how to work the alternate currency. When now, they know how to work around, you know, involving more of alternate currency and knowing how to not let the market crash. Because if the market crashes, that means less money for them. And that's a no-no for them. So... They are working around ways to figure out how they can make the market not crash. So, in my opinion, invest in certain cards that you think, um, maybe some cornerbacks that are fast, some fast, fast cards, guys. Invest in fast cards. If you're gonna, you know, if you are questioning investing or not, and and you decide to invest, invest in fast cards, okay? But. Yeah, that, that's my opinion. It's going to drop, but it's not going to drop a lot. That, that That's just me. Um, as of right now, I think you can, the, the average training, uh, the, the, the coin to training ratio right now, I believe is around 20 to 25. Uh, it's really, you know, up and down right now. Um, but once we see most fear, I feel like it's going to drop maybe around minimum like 14, 13 coins per training. And that's a, that's a big drop, but... It could go down all the way to 10, but I don't think it's going to drop that much. Maybe 15, 14, 13 minimum, and, you know, 15 to 20. 13 to 20, somewhere in there. I know that's a big window, but, you know, just expect to drop, but not as much. But let's go ahead and hop into these. I've been talking for a while, guys. Let's go ahead and hop into predictions for, for, for uh, myself, um, some cards that I'm going to invest in. So let's actually go, go ahead and hop into... Um, Mutthead and do some filtering around and see what cards that I find uh, that I'd like to invest in and some you know I've already have some written down uh, that I'm going to invest in but yeah let's go ahead and hop into uh, Mutthead right now alright guys so I went ahead hopped into Mutthead here I sorted by secondary so I went cornerback free safety strong safety now when in doubt if you are looking to invest in cards, guys, rely on speed. Rely on speed if you're going to invest in cards. Now, as you see here, Dante Jackson, pretty good card to invest in. As you see, his power-up's gone up a little bit in price here at 10.4K. But that's just because a lot of people are doing the same thing I'm doing. Um, you know, investing in speed. Uh, very smart. There's smart people that play Madden, guys. Um... Legereus Sneed, he obviously just got the 89, so this is not going to be a power-up you're going to want to invest in. But just look around. If you see a 68 um, Denzel Ward, we saw a huge fluctuation increase in his power-up when his LTD card came out. A huge price. That's because 
it is hard to stop the passing game in Madden this year. Whether that be people throwing, um, a lot of money plays are being ran right now in Madden, and there's not many fast corners. So Denzel Ward is he's still at 21k, but his price skyrocketed when he had that LTD come out, um, and people need a fast corner to stop these, you know, the, these vertical routes or money plays or you know man defense a lot of people like man so they man up their fastest corner with the, their opponents fastest wide receivers so you know that's the thing as we keep going Jonathan Jones a safety very fast at 81 speed now I like cornerbacks more than or I shouldn't say not not like uh, cornerbacks but like um, I like to invent or most feared I'd like to invest more in cornerbacks instead of safeties because I feel like if you, you can, you're fine with a decently fast safety. Because if you run zone a lot, you don't have to be super fast. But if you run, your corners do, but your safeties don't. So, oh, well, he's a cornerback, so I, you know. But anyway, if he was a, if he was a safety, let's find a safety that's fast. So, I don't know. But anyway, like I was saying, if you find a safety... If you find a safety that is really fast and you have found a corner that's really fast, like if it came down, if Jonathan Jones was a safety here, um, but obviously he's not, and Dante Jackson was a corner, and you could either invest in one or the other, go with Dante Jackson because cornerbacks need speed. Free safeties, strong safeties, they don't have to have speed um, to, to be really good. You know, you guys get what I'm saying though, right? Uh, again, after this video, if y'all have any questions, please comment. I'd love to answer anyone's questions here. Uh, but like I said, Dante Jackson's a good card to invest in. Uh, Jonathan Jones here at 1.1K, very good to invest in. Again, if you're going to buy these cards really low like this Jonathan Jones here, um, you're not going to lose anything. Uh, I mean, if you didn't get a card, oh well, you just sell them all back. You maybe lose with the tax, but you maybe lose depending on how many. Let's say you invest in 10 Jonathan Jones. If he doesn't get a card, oh well, you probably lose like, I don't know, a thousand coins. Not a big deal. I mean, it's not a big deal at all. Investing's easy when you can use your brain and think about what's going to come out. So that's why I love it so much. That's how I make my coins. I'm a no money spent. You have to be smart with your coins. So that, that's what I love here. William Jackson. So I don't. 90, 91,000. Uh, never mind. Shaq Barrett. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Shaq Griffin here. Um, th this is a pretty pretty good card to invest in, too. Um, 81 speed as an 81 overall. Uh, I mean, not 81 overall, as a 69 overall. Uh, pretty good card to invest in as well. Again, look it through. You guys can go to Mutthead yourselves. So look through these cornerback safeties. Um, Justin Reed there. Um, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Oh, this would be awesome, guys. A Dory Jackson, scary fast, guys. This could happen, guys. It could happen because he is actually injured right now, so he wouldn't be able to get any upgrades throughout the year, like through Team of the Week or y'all get what I'm saying. He might get a rising star maybe, but he would be really good to invest in because he's actually injured right now or hurt. Maybe coming back in a few weeks. We don't know just yet. But Adore Jackson would be a good card to invest in because Most Feared is a great promo for certain players that are not active or injured right now to get upgrades. Another thing to look at too, like Von Miller might get a Most Feared card. Um, all these are assumptions that I'm saying. But more than likely, Adore Jackson might get the card just because he's injured. He won't be able to, he hadn't get, been able to get an upgrade uh, this year. So another thing to look out there, Adore Jackson, look for injured players. Um, other stuff like that. Uh, Xavier Rhodes, he he got a or he just got that power up. So interesting here again. Uh, Xavier Rhodes, I don't think will increase because he came out with that wild card Wednesday, and everyone got a chance to that you know to select a power up. So I don't think this card is the best. I'd, I'd rather invest in a Dory Jackson again. 300 coins more. Who cares? Um, because this came out of a fantasy pack, I don't think his price would increase if he did get a card. Obviously, it's going to increase. But let's say Adore Jackson got a card, his price would increase a whole lot more than Xavier Rhodes. So, in my opinion, Adore Jackson would be a much better card to look uh, look for investing in. And when we get to the 79s, 
Uh, I guess, I mean, safety's here. Marcus Peters? No. I mean, I think we're, we're too low. Jason McCourty, maybe? He hadn't got an upgrade all year, and you got to look at, you know, have these players had an upgrade. Um, but I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at wide receivers. Um, and y'all can look at some fast linebackers. See, let's go to linebackers. Why not? Let's filter by linebackers. Let's filter by power up. Let's filter by speed. And Jerome Baker here. He got an uh, yeah. He got an upgrade. Um, but let's keep looking through here. Roquan Smith. I think did he get an upgrade? Uh, again, I'm not gonna go. Like, if I'm doing this myself, I'm checking Roquan see if he got a, 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 a um, uh, an upgrade earlier in the year. But like I said, just look through here. See if there's anything you could invest in, look to invest in, and again, you know, do this with our receivers too. I just like investing in cornerbacks because the demand for cornerbacks are going to be a whole lot higher than linebackers because linebackers are, are trash in this game. But let's go to wide receivers. People love their wide receivers. Tyreek Hill, he's going to get a most fear card. But investing in a 62,000 coin card, probably not the best idea. Um, keep it reasonable, guys. Keep it reasonable. Um... Wouldn't it be great if we saw Chris Johnson? That would be that'd be awesome. Scary Fastmaster. Um, let's keep looking. Calvin Ridley, he just got that upgrade. So that went in. Terry McLaurin, is he in here somewhere? He's gotta be in here somewhere. But Terry McLaurin, a great upgrade. Scary Scary Terry. Fits the uh, promo. <laughs> fits the promo, Scary Terry. Alan Lazard. Um, 134k, so he must have got a um, Brandon Cooks, he got the LTD. DJ Moore. Pretty good card to invest in this DJ Moore here. You know, keep just look through here. Maybe a T.Y. Hilton too. Keep looking. You know, find certain cards that you might think get an upgrade. Go invest. The worst thing that's gonna happen, you might lose a couple thousand coins. You know, that that's the worst thing that's gonna happen. That's why I tell people don't be scared to invest. Go ahead, spend your coins wisely, but don't be scared to invest in cards. The worst thing that's gonna happen, you may lose, you know, a couple thousand coins, three thousand coins, like Oh well, you go play challenges, you get those coins right back. So, um, like I like I'm saying, guys, simple things. Just look through here. Cortland Sutton, uh, not a bad card to invest in. I, did he get an upgrade? I, yeah, I think he got a Rising Stars upgrade. So, um, again, just look through here. See if you can find any. You know, see if you can strike gold on any of these. Um, and, and again, that's probably gonna do it for the video. I don't want to stretch this out too long. I think it's already stretched out a good bit, but. Like I said, scroll through here. Look at some corner quarterbacks too that haven't got an upgrade. Some some halfbacks, you know, maybe a, a Johnu Smith tight end card would be awesome. So that would be pretty cool if we got a Johnu there. But maybe a Jadavian Clowney. We need a Jadavian. I've been saying that for so long, but yeah, just some predictions, uh, investment, you know, strategies. Um, but yeah. If you have any questions, any of y'all, please comment in, in down below. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for the video. And yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see y'all.